Okay, so. Oh, that didn't last long. Hold on, let me rewind it. So that's visible right quick. This is crazy because y'all know I'm into my, I'm going to say t into my conspiracies. Not even a theory, but conspiracies to conspire. And this shit right here. It wasn't really any talking anyway. This thing I have won't let you record sound on the, um, from the phone. So maybe if I was like Chromecasting it and... Well, that wouldn't work because it's screen. Well, whatever. So, oh, it would work. But anyway, this is crazy the way they have these people in here. And I mean, all the fucking credit this place have, this America has, they could have put them people up in a place better than that. That looked like motherfucking South 4D at the county jail. You feel me? And this is what the person who was there said. Well, I don't have to pause it. Y'all can pause it. Dear government shelters, this has been the worst experience of my life as a civilian during a disaster. We have been placed in this so-called shelter that basically looks like a concentration camp. We've had officers... Oh, well, goddamn, maybe I should have paused it. <laughs> We've had officers walk above us on platforms in the pictures below as if we are threats to society. We have been numbered as if, as if we were Jews in the Holocaust. The walls are even color-coordinated. The so-called food that you have given us has made people throw up and stay in the restrooms. I understand that you have to have order in some form, but treating us like this isn't right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Upon arrival to this facility, my Red Cross bag, toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, a comb, and shampoo, which sound like the same exact shit they hand you out when you get locked up except for down here anyway, you get a pair of them little neck mesh underwears for the ladies anyway. And a um a towel. They won't even give you no they give you the soap when you go upstairs or whatever, but first little back they hand you same exact shit, minus a towel and well in the sheets. But um but they got sheets and covers too for them them beds or whatever. Anyway, don't ask me why. I say don't ask me why. But the National Guard took it at the metal detectors that as civilians have to walk through. Yet your men have been allowed to walk amongst us in the same building with their weapons on their hip. That is not how you treat humans. These motherfuckers should not be having their motherfucking guns in a place for people who are coming to seek shelter and help from a natural disaster. That was man-made. Ain't that some shit? The world is fucking twisted. Anyway, a whole nother story. And I mean, and I saw this actually just now. You know, I ain't got no motherfucking sleep. When I uploaded that video, it say something about two something in the morning. That was when I was recording. By the time I chopped that shit up and tried to take my um, cause I had my fucking address on there by mistake. By the time I chopped that shit up and put it back together again, add some little colorful words on the screen and shit, and them little screenshots of the um, what kind of card I use to have a a. a account number and routing number connected to the card I use. It was fucking full going on five in the morning. I ain't had no sleep, but you know, that's how that's what they say them bipolar folks be doing. I don't know that damn because I don't really own that shit, but back to what I'm talking about, we got a Walmart right down the street. Like, um, east from my house. The first block right there is a Walmart on the southeast, I'm sorry, northeast corner East from my house. And then, if we um, come out of the development we stay in, or the little, you know, I live in the suburbs or whatever. whatever. <laughs> but if we come out, um, if we come out of uh, our little area and we make, and we go east, we got a Walmart right there, that light on the, on the um, northeast corner. If we come out and go west, down a little bit further, it's actually two Walmarts. It's one one block over, and then it's one straight down. Like, we got two Walmarts on one street, which is the one, like, I stay right off of. And they got these motherfuckers blowing these shits up with the underground shit. I mean, I know for the ones who do their research, y'all done seen the shit, how they got, um, they move Area 51 and try and act like, you know, it's not really there. It was just some made-up shit that they had in the newspapers back then with Roswell and all that. But, um... 
they still dissecting, cloning, creating, and getting all into our mind, fucking with our pineal gland. So you got to get your chakras up, get your magic up, get your energy up, decalcify your pineal gland, get your third eye strong, let your aura protect you. And work that shit. Because these motherfuckers will dig all off in your head. And you won't even know what or why. Shit happening. I mean I'm glad I had these experiences. But um, y'all this shit crazy. Stay away from Walmart god damn it. If some shit pop off. Go to the motherfucking dollar store for groceries. Go to some hood. What they got? Aldi's. Save a lot. Some of them shits. Cause I ain't gonna front. I'm like a Walmart baby. Walmart Publix. So every once in a while, we hit up the Target, aka Target. Um, we ain't got no Piggly Wiggly down here. <laughs> I just wanted to say Piggly Wiggly, but we don't have any down here where I stay. But some like had it been a national disaster, and I already told my mama I'd be a damn near on the verge of tears. Mama, don't go, don't go to the Walmart. Fuck that shit. Don't go to the Walmart. Them motherfuckers rich already. Walmart, Sam's, Walgreens. All the motherfuckers related. It was the Sam Walton and whoever the fuck. Um, they put that shit together, Sam's and Walgreens, whatever. So um, just be careful, y'all. Be safe. Keep your eye open. Keep your eye open so you can hear and see and be fully aware. I ain't talking about them two little balls you got in the front of your face and them sockets. I'm talking about your eye that connects you. To this dimension and others. Keep that shit open. Keep that shit open, man. Anyway, continue on with the video. I think it's about over though. It's only where well, you see what it is. It's show. That's the numbers they had. It's like jail. He said concentration camp, but that's jail. That's your pouch number. Your jacket number. And them little paper thin sheets. I see the girl wrapped up in the blanket. Oh, but this shit is ridiculous. Shit is ridiculous. Look at this shit. They, that's jail. I ain't even got no cushion. Oh. No. They got to do better. They should have been in the hotel room. They should have been in the hotel room. Just rented out a whole big ass hotel or something for these people. They got the money for it. You know, FEMA always was breaking people off after the hurricane back in the day. <laughs> but I got water damage. But, uh, but I mean, you know, that's whatever. That's just what the fuck it was. And you get you a couple stacks or whatever. Go ahead, grab you some furniture, redecorate the house right quick. You know, but... Hey. So anyway... um. I don't know. You know, y'all leave y'all thoughts or whatever. Um, and maybe look into it, what they doing with these Walmarts. One of them already done turned into a prison. I think in... Well, somewhere here in America. Because I, I remember when I was looking into it, I'm like, damn, they got Walmart in Brazil? Bitch! Why? <laughs> Why? They... I don't know. I mean, damn. It's just they, they're everywhere. You feel me? So, y'all got to access y'all um, trust account, treasury account, trust. You can create a trust. Um, I'm going to get into all that later because, you know, I, I start by five conversations and God damn it. I finish every single last one on two, but it'll be a long ass video. Um, random shit. I go to court Monday. Is that the 18th? Shit. Is that the 18th? I hope not. Oh, hell, I can't even pull the damn screen down, can I? Saturday, Sunday. Oh, yep, it's Monday. I go to court Monday morning. Um, So, please uh, send some good energy for me. I mean, I'm doing what I do on my end anyway, you feel me? So, uh, I will keep y'all posted maybe about that. I'm going to bring that shit up. Bring that shit up after the case closed. Because I tell you, the bullshit is so real with these bitches. And I'm be getting me a nice little, oh, hey. But, yeah, so, anyway, y'all stay blessed. Look into this Walmart shit. 